Good morning, welcome back to a new video. We are continuing on our rocket stove design. We are fully converting this stove to rocket stove. So we went to the store and we got correct pipes this time so we can finally hook it all up. We went with our original design which is one uh, 90 degrees going up and then a 45 degrees and out to the uh, exit. And the valve for closing up the uh, the exhaust pipe we're just gonna put into the here and the, close to the wall, like as close as you can get. So we're just gonna build it into this one. Gonna yeah, fully make it, fully make a circle and put it in there. Just same as that design, but that one I just don't want to ruin, leave it as it is, maybe it's useful one day. So we're gonna just build one from scratch. But yeah, let's assemble the pipes, start it up and see how good it burns. And then we have to put on a ring here from inside, we got the cement from outside. Do our redo our chimney pipe on the top and uh, yeah, hopefully, and hook it down because uh, in the big winds we don't want it to fall down, so yeah, but let's first assemble and start it. It's the next day, uh, we burned it yesterday, we burned it all day, burns really well but I had to make some adjustments mid-fire, actually it was all coals in there and I had to make adjustments because every time you open it, it was smoking, it wasn't burning the best because it is drafting in air like this or if you need, even if you leave the door even slightly like this, it just drafts the air from top and from bottom which makes the flame want to naturally go up to be escaping through its up holes like the chimney, uh, the stove is designed. So for this new design you would require air to come in from up, to go down. Um, but it does work well if you put the bricks like a rocket stove. I have redesigned it again, but I had them like close together and bricks across. And it was working really well because then it has that L shape and out. Of course I wanted end of the result, uh, I wanted to be the burning chamber much bigger because now it's bigger, now I made it much bigger so I want to try it like this. I had it really skinny so I was only able to burn small stickies like this, even smaller. And like one basket of six burns full day. Which is incredibly economical, usually one of these we burn in the morning and that burns for two hours or something and then in the evening the same amount. So now to burn a full day with just one basket, it's very economical. And the temperatures get roughly the same. Uh, the barrel is not getting as hot as I want it to. Just because we don't have the secondary air intake which creates the secondary burn inside of the kind of the flue that goes into the barrel. That uh, midway here it needs to have the secondary burn so we need an air intake because it does not have enough air to catch fire in the smoke. So once we add that, hopefully that increases the temperatures to ridiculously hot and produces a lot of heat for the house. But other than that it works really well, very efficient and the design works like really surprisingly well. This gives off a lot more heat as well because we have a flue and even thi this gets a lot hotter than it used to before. The flue on the wall would never get as hot. So we could in theory run this like through a mass or even through another room and then back out and that would produce a lot more heat as well. So we could extract more heat from the exhaust. But for now we'll have to leave it like this. We still have to add um, a closing valve because uh, it is blowing in still a bit of cold air but it seems to be a lot less. It was blowing through here like you put, put your hand it will be blowing noticeably a lot of cold air but now it's a lot less. We're gonna increase the flu today so not the flu yeah, it is called the flue or chimney. We're gonna increase it all the way uh, to the correct height over the roof. So we're gonna add uh, one more extra meter and that hopefully will help even with the draft flow back and also with the draft. The draft was never a problem once we made the rocket. So uh, the version here, it was drafting really well. Before when we had the barrel, it was struggling to start. It was struggling to start on a windy day. It was blowing smoke out sometimes now with this redesign. 
no problem with the draft, but I still want to increase it. want to clean it out because we haven't cleaned it in two seasons. So I want to clean it out and uh, rebuild it properly. We have bought the adapter uh, because we have some pipes that are one size bigger. So we're going to put those pipes to the ending pipes and uh, yeah, clean it all up. But yeah, let's get started by putting on a beauty ring for here for the wall and then one on the outside. And then we're going to start with the flue. And we also have to put it uh, We bought the new... Ah, new of, seal as yeah, well seal. for uh, because this seal is very very used up so there's pretty much nothing left of it so we're gonna also replace that never done that but i think it shouldn't be too complicated As we were trying to take off the chimney, we undiscovered a problem, which is that this part here, which sits right under the roof, this is not stainless steel, the rest of it is. Uh, first pipes we bought were non stainless steel, it was a mistake. Uh, I didn't know they were not stainless steel. I would imagine that every chimney should be stainless steel because otherwise it doesn't last long. So, yeah, this is fully rotten out, nothing left inside because it was sitting right in the water. The rest of it is still good, so we're just gonna cut it off here. And then one day we're just going to replace the whole thing. So we have this stainless steel pipe, which is going to make this one replace this section. Hopefully we can get it to work. So should not be the hardest. Yeah. And then as I said, one day we can just replace. It's not the hardest to replace the full pipe. Yeah. Okay. It's not dirty at all. Looks like it's pretty clean. No buildup. Means that the stove was working really good, even the two years we had it.
luckily it's a pretty calm day, like comparably. Okay. Now we're inside, we actually just, every day we forget how early it gets dark, it's getting like later and later. Uh, earlier and earlier, uh, other way around. Um, it's soon to be three o'clock. That's gonna be pitch black outside. Well, not that bad, but nearly. And uh, yeah, we assembled everything in the darkness, finished everything, got it up, and now it's running. It's uh, actually really good. Um, seems like the draft is pretty good. It does want to smoke still. We still have to seal quite a bit more around the barrel, but we will do that. We're just not sure if we want the position or if we want to take it off. We just don't want to seal it just yet. Uh, but we might seal it and have it all sealed and done. Uh, as you see, the door needs to be a bit open because if it's too closed, this is just not enough air and it builds up smoke inside here and also it doesn't burn as powerful, so it kind of restricts it. So that is now good. That fully will probably get sealed fully closed and I'll probably put the same sealant around it to close this up fully not to use it and make new air intake from the top. Um, and also secondary air intake, that's what we need to do. And probably next time you're gonna see it, we're probably gonna try to add the water heating, so this is gonna be also a boiler. Not just for water heating for our bathroom, but also to heat up radiators in the bedrooms, hallway, and a towel dryer in the uh, bathroom. So hopefully that's gonna be strong enough. The heat inside is quite insane. So if we put a nice heat exchanger in there, it should be able to harvest the heat. I wanted to put it in the barrel, but I feel like there on top is gonna to be the best. Um, it shouldn't cool the fire too down. The flu that goes into the barrel still is not gonna to be touched by the water, by the heat exchange, so it should not get cooled down. But yeah, it's burning really powerful. I need to add some more wood, because it burns out pretty quickly if it's running on full speed like I have it now. So definitely need a bit better air um, like adjustment, because now it's just, giving like all max out which I guess is not bad for rocket so but yeah that's pretty much it with the video it's burning really good if you can hear the noise I don't know if I stopped it's burning really good and yeah hope you enjoyed and we're gonna see you next time bye bye